hello everyone welcome back to my channel today we will do Cambridge IGCSC mathematics paper 4 058041 uh, is the code and this paper is from October November 2021 series right so these are the instructions you can go through so if you are new to my channel I would like you request you guys to subscribe to my channel and if you have already done that so thank you so much guys for your support so let's start question one the diagram shows a brick in the shape of a cuboid you can see this diagram here and uh, calculate the total surface area of the brick so this is a cuboid so we can uh, directly use the formula of surface area of cuboid so surface area of cuboid is 2 times length times width plus width times height plus height times length right so this is 2 into 19.4 times 9.2 so this is length, width and this is height, right? Then width times height is 9.2 times 5.7 plus H times L is 5 times 7 times 19.4, right? So when you calculate, you can directly use calculator for that. So let's do that one. It's 2 times 2 times in bracket we have 19.4 times 9.2 plus 9.2 times 5.7 plus 5.7 times 19.4 so this is 683 so our final answer is 683 centimeters squared right so now let's move to question number uh, part 2 the density of the brick is 1.9 grams per uh, centimeter cubed work out the mass of the brick and give your answer in kilograms we are given the formula of density which is mass over volume so we are looking for the mass here so we can write the formula density is equal to mass divided by volume right so from here mass will be density times mass is density times volume or you can directly substitute the values and density is given as 1.9 times volume uh, okay so we have to find out the volume first volume will be uh, length times width times height so that is 1.9 times uh, from here 9.2 times 5.7 9.2 times 5.7 so we can directly use here we can directly write down here uh, it will be uh, 1 point sorry this is 19.4 9.2 and 5.7 so we can write it down here 19.4 times 9.2 times 5.7 right so this is this because we are taking density in grams so this answer will be in grams so later on we can convert this into kilograms so let's see how much is that so it's 1.9 times 19.4 times 9.2 times 5.7 so it is uh, uh, we got this 1932.9384 now divide this by 1000 because uh, 1000 when you divide this by 1000 it will become kilogram so it is 1.932 kilograms right so 1.932 kilograms because one kilogram 
is equal to 1000 gram so that's why we have divided it by 1000 right now part b 9000 bricks are needed to build a house uh, 200 bricks cost 175 dollars work out the cost of bricks needed to build five houses so we can go step by step so 9000 bricks are needed to build one house right so he, we are looking for the cost to build five houses so this 9000 so cost for uh, sorry bricks needed needed for 9000 uh, sorry bricks needed for five houses uh, will be times 5 bricks needed for 5 houses for 5 houses will be 9000 times 5 right so we can just use directly the ratio method here so here we can say the number of bricks and the cost so 200 bricks cost dollar 175 so this is in dollars so we are looking for this many bricks so that means 9000 times 5 will be like how many so just cross multiply this here we will have x times 2000 equals to 175 times 9000 times 5 so divide by 2000 divide by 2000 both sides so when you calculate this one it comes out to be 39375 39375 right now part c uh, saskia builds a wall using 1500 bricks she can build the at the rate of 40 bricks each hour right she works for nine hours each day. Uh, Saskia starts work on 6th July and works every day until the wall is completed. Find the date when she completes the wall. So we can start from here. Um, she, uh, we, she builds a wall using 1500 bricks. So that means she needs 1500 bricks. She can build at the rate of 40 bricks each hour. So in one hour, in one hour she builds 40 bricks. Right? Uh, she builds a wall. For the wall she needs how many? Uh, 1500 bricks. Right? B -R -I -C -K. Bricks. So how much time will it take? So that means so x times 40 uh, is equal to 1500 times 1 divide by 40 divide by 40 so uh, 1150 divided by 4 so this is 37.5 37.5 hours are needed to make the required number of bricks right so now she works every day and nine hours right so and she starts at 6th july so 6th july um, she worked for nine hours then 7th july again nine hours 8th july nine uh, nine plus nine eighteen twenty seven still she had to continue 9th july nine times four this is 36 hours but there is remaining again so 10th july so 10th of july she will uh, continue the work until it ends so 37 plus 9 it will solve the purpose so that means she will end her work on 10th of july that is the final answer right now part d uh, rafa has a cylindrical tank the cylinder has height of 105 centimeter and diameter is 45 centimeter. Calculate the capacity of the tank in um, liters. So this is the cylinder. You can draw a rough diagram. So height is 105.
5 cm and diameter is 45 cm the capacity so capacity is volume right so volume of cylinder formula we have pi r squared h so pi r r is half of 45 because 45 is diameter so 45 over 2 squared times h so let's see how much is this one So we have pi times 45 divided by 2 and then we have square of it square times let me bring it down. times 105 so this is 166 995.2845 uh, centimeter cubed For, uh, calculate the capacity in liter so we are going to divide this by 1000 to get the capacity in liters so this decimal will come here so this is 166 point nine nine five okay liters so this can be written as you can round it off here hundred and sixty seven liters right adding one here question number two Bob Chow and May take part in a run for charity their times uh, to complete the run are in the ratio we are given this ratio bob chow and may four five and seven uh, find chow's time as percentage of may so we are comparing these two so that means this and this right so chow's is five as percentage of may may is seven and we are looking for the percentage that means from hundred so when you calculate this five hundred divided by seven 500 divided by 7 it is uh, 71.42 so this is 71.42 we can write down uh, three significant forms as uh, 71.4 right now part 2 Bob's time for run is 55 minutes 40 seconds find May's time for run give your answer in minutes and seconds because we are given uh, this time uh, in ratio so uh, we can use that ratio here so we are talking about um, Bob and me Bob and me so we are comparing here Bob and me right Bob is 4 and for me is it's 7 hmm? so now first of all we have to convert this one into uh, we can do that as decimals 55 so when you convert this and 45 uh, 40 seconds 40 over 60 so we can write it down as decimals so 55 so this can be written as like uh, 55 times 6 plus 4 over 6 we can write down this as decimal then uh, so this is 55 times um, we have 6 uh, plus 4 divided by 6 so this comes out to be 55.66 so this can be written as 55.66 minutes right so we are writing this as minutes so uh, we can use this one here so for bob uh, bob's time is 55.66 and how much will be the time for uh, who may right then cross multiply so we will have x equals to 55.66 times 7 over 4 so 56 
55.66 times 7 uh, divided by 4 so this is 97.4.5 uh, or yeah 97 it, it this comes out to be 97.405 right so we can even write this as a fraction uh, but I will explain you like this one so we have this is minute now this is second so 97 minutes we got 97 minutes we will look for the uh, now for the second so for the second part we have this is 0 0.405 right so we can approximate this one as and to make the calculation easy 0 0.41 so from seconds to make it minutes so we are going to multiply this by I'm oh, sorry these are minutes sorry 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 these are minutes 0 0.45 uh, so to um, convert this into seconds we are going to multiply this by 60 so when you multiply this by 60 uh, 0 0.41 times 60 so this is 24.6 so when we round it off it will become 25 seconds right so the answer is 25 seconds here okay now part b Chow collects dollar forty seven point five zero for charity. Bob collects twenty eight percent more than Chow. Uh, find the amount Bob collects. So that means Bob collects twenty uh, per, uh, twenty percent more than Chow. So that means he collects uh, hundred and twenty eight percent of dollar forty seven point five zero. So we can just calculate with the calculator 125, mm, hun, sorry 128 over 100 times 47.50. So 128 times 47.50 divided by 100. So this is 60.8. So 60.8 as we are talking about the money so we can write down 60.80 right now Chow collects 60 percent less than May and so find how much more money May collects than Chow. So now we can compare all the three here so first one is Chow then Bob then we have me right so this one is ee e collects 47.50 bob collects 60.80 and we are looking for me uh, because we need to find out the difference how much more money may collect so we don't know about him uh, so now we are given that chow collects 60 percent more than so this person is collecting 60 percent more than may right and so 60 percent so that means may is collecting 80 40 percent of x meaning to say that may let me write it down here so that means may collects 40 percent uh, of uh, less than this one so that means 40 percent less than show right so that means to say that 40 percent of x of his amount is 47.50 so that means to say we can calculate here 40 uh, percent of x equals to 47.50 so x is going to be 47.50 times 100 over 40 so when you calculate this one this comes out to be 118.75 dollars right so but we are looking for the difference so difference of this and this amount so um, because we are looking for how much more money so the difference will be 118.75 minus 47.50 so this is uh, 5 2 1 7 
two five so that is the final answer now part c when running chow has struck length of 70 centimeter correct to the nearest five centimeters right uh, then uh, chow runs a distance of 11.2 kilometer correct to the nearest 0.1 kilometers right uh, so work out the minimum number of strides that Shao could take to complete the distance so uh, this stride length may be uh, like it's uh, the steps we can say the length of the step uh, so we have to find out the minimum so that means we need to have the upper bound and lower bound now this is nearest 5 so that means we are dividing this 5 by 2 so that will be plus minus 2.5 so to find out the um, this 70 centimeter for this we will have upper bound will be uh, adding 2.5 this will be 72.5 right and the lower bound will be um, 60 uh, this is going to be 70 minus 2.5 70 minus 2.5 so this is 67.5 so 67.5 here we are subtracting negative 2.5 here we are adding 2.5 right so these are the lower bound and upper bound right for the 70 centimeters now secondly we have chow runs distance of 11.2 kilometers correct to the nearest 0. 0.1 kilometer so now this is kilometer this is centimeter so we have to convert this one into uh, centimeters right 11.2 uh, kilometers times 1000 it will become meter times 100 it will become centimeter so it became 1 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 one two three four five zeros so one is gone because we have decimal here so this centimeter so this is one one two one two three four zeros this many centimeters now we are we need to have the lower and upper bound of this also so for this one when we are going to divide this one 0 0.1 0 0.1 divided by 2 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.1 divided by 2 it's uh, 0 0.05 so divided by 2 it is 0 0.05 right and again this is kilometers we have to convert this into times 1000 which is meter times 100 that will be centimeters so it will be like uh, five this two zeros will gone it will become five thousand centimeters right so we are now going to take the upper and lower bound for this one so we have one point eleven point two kilometer its upper bound and then the lower bound right so upper bound is one one two there are four zero one two three four plus what will be this one five thousand right so plus 5000 so this is one one two five zero zero right then the lower bound one one two zero 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 minus five thousand mm, minus five thousand let's see how much is this one 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 two four zero one two three four minus five thousand right so this is uh, one 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 five one two three zeros right so now we are looking for the minimum number of the stride so for the minimum number we have to take the lower bound divided by the upper bound so now the lower bound is this one divided by the upper bound upper bound is from here of the uh, the chow's length so that is going to be 72.5 so let's calculate this one this answer uh, divided by 72.5
which is 15 379.31 so we can just approximate this one here so it will be 15380 will be the minimum number of the strikes right so a bit complicated but you have to be careful and go uh, slowly step by step right now now in part D in 2015 a charity raises total of dollar 1.6 million after 2015 this amount increases exponential by 2.4 each year for next 5 years work out the amount raised by in 2020 this is a simple question like we can use the value of investment formula uh, so which is um, principal 1 plus r over 100 times uh, power n so this p here will be 1.6 1 plus r r is 2.4 over 100 power 5 so this can be written as 1.6 this will be 100 plus 2.4 over 100 power 5 right so 1.6 times 102.4 over 100 power Five. So let's calculate this one. It's 1.6 times in bracket we have 102.4 divided by 100 power 5. So it is 1.801. So this is 1.8014. So we can write down here like this 1.8 millions. Right? So that is the final answer for this question. Question 3. The cumulative frequency diagram shows information about mass m kilogram of each of 80 boys so you can see we have the cumulative frequency diagram here we have cumulative frequency this side and we have mass in kilograms this side now let's see the question it is part a we have on the grid draw box and whisker plot to show the information in the cumulative frequency diagram so to draw a box and whisker diagram we need some information now from the cumulative frequency uh, diagram right so first thing that we need is uh, there are actually five things that you need uh, to find out the uh, to draw the box and whisker plot uh, that is maximum value those five things that are needed uh, number five uh, let me just start with one is uh, lower value or you can say minimum value and maximum value right minimum value maximum value then we need median and then we need lower quartile that is q1 and upper quartile q3 so now minimum value here in the frequency diagram we have minimum value is 30 right and maximum value is here which is 90 so this is 90 now the median so to find out the median uh, so median here it is we have how many uh, here the total of the frequency is 80 so half of 80 it is 40 so we are looking for the 40th uh, value so 40 is here so we will go along this line uh, let me use the ruler for that so when you go down here we have this value here so if you see this one is 60 and 70 so this is 61 62 63 so median is 63 so we got median now lower quartile lower quartile is q1 q1 lower quartile and uh, that is a 1 by 4th of 80 80th value right so this is 20th so that means we are looking for the 20th value so 20 is here so when you go this way Uh, 20 
so let's go this line along this line here so going down here so we have this 50 20th is uh, quartile so from here lower quartile is 50 right so lower quartile is 50 and upper quartile for the upper quartile we are looking for uh, 3 by 4th of 80th right 3 by 4 of 80th and this is 20 times 3 it is uh, 70 uh, sorry to 20 times 3 60 so we are looking for the 60th so again we will go along this line here right going down which is uh, here it is this one is 72 right so this is uh, upper quartile is 72 so this is 60th value so this is 72 so now we have these five values so we can easily plot the diagram here so we can use the middle one here and uh, that uh, uh, the minimum value is 30 and maximum is 90 so minimum will go here okay and maximum is here 90 as we are already given in here okay so now we are done with this and this now median median is 63 so 61 is here 62 63 so we can just go here so let me draw this one so this is our median right now median is done lower quart lower quartile is 50 and upper is 72 so 50 is here so we will draw a line here 50 and then the upper quartile is uh, uh, 72 so 72 71 72 is here so that's it so this is our box here in the center we will join all these values like this and we can draw the whisker here in the middle somewhere so that's the box and whisker plot right so now part b uh, use the cumulative frequency diagram to find the estimate of 30th percentile so we will look for the 30th percentile so 30th percentile will be this side it uh, it will be 30 over 100 times 80 so zeros are gone 8 times 3 it is 24th so we will look for the 24th value here so 21 22 23 no sorry this is actually 30 here so it will be 22 24 is this line go accordingly you can use calculate uh, sorry ruler so going down here we have this value here this is the uh, 50 1 52 3 4 5 and 6 56 so our answer is 56 kilograms right now the number of boys with mass greater than 75 so greater than 75 is here uh, is mass mass is this side 75 is this one so we will go along this line we have to read this now the other way so this is the line so 75 going this way okay so this one is 61 and this is uh, i'm sorry 62 64 this is 64 so we have 80 minus 64 so this will be 80 minus 64 which is 16 that is the answer for this question right i hope you understood all these questions Part C, Roman 1, we have used the cumulative frequency diagram to complete this frequency table. So, you can see we have these two gaps here. We need to fill this. So, this is mass here. This is frequency. So, we are looking for between mass between 50 and 60. Then we will see. So, let's go back to the diagram 50 and 60. So, 50 is here. When you go to along 50 here, we have 20. And then along 60, 60 line is here. So we'll go this way moving to this one we have this one 
विच इज दिस इज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी एट थर्टी थर्टी टू एंड थर्टी फोर सो दिस वैल्यू इज थर्टी फोर हियर सो थर्टी फोर माइनस ट्वेंटी सो दिस विल कम हियर थर्टी फोर माइनस ट्वेंटी विच इज फोर्टीन सो इट विल कम ओवर हियर सिमिलरली यू कैन सी मास बिटवीन सिक्सटी एंड सेवेंटी सो सिक्सटी इज हियर इफ यू गो सिक्सटी हियर इज थर्टी टू फोर एंड सेवेंटी टू इफ यू गो अलॉन्ग दिस वे वी हैव दिस इज लेट मी चेक अगेन वो इट सॉरी सेवेंटी एंड सिक्सटी सॉरी सेवेंटी सेवेंटी इज हियर सो वी आर गोइंग फॉर सेवेंटी गो बैक अगेन सेवेंटी इज हियर इफ यू गो दिस वे इट इज दिस वन इज फिफ्टी सिक्स राइट फिफ्टी एट फिफ्टी दिस इज फिफ्टी सिक्स सो इट इज फिफ्टी सिक्स फोर सेवेंटी एंड देन सिक्सटी फोर सिक्सटी आई हैव हियर वी ऑलरेडी डिट दिस वन इट इज थर्टी फोर सो थर्टी फोर इज हियर फिफ्टी सिक्स माइनस थर्टी फोर इट इज ट्वेंटी टू सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन कंप्लीट दिस वन राइट नाउ कैलकुलेट द एस्टिमेट मीन मार्क्स ऑफ द बॉयज सो फॉर द मीन you we have to take sigma fx over sigma f sigma f is 80 sigma fx like we have to take now the middle values right for the middle values here 30 between 30 and uh, 40 it is 35 this will be 40 plus 50 90 half of that 45 then this will be 55 65 75 and 85 right now we are going to multiply this one So it will be thirty-five times eight plus forty-five times twelve plus fifty-five times fourteen, sixty-five times twenty-two, seventy-five times fourteen, eighty-five times ten divided by eighty. So when you calculate this one, it comes out to be sixty-one point. Five kilograms, right? So I'm not doing this calculation. You can do it yourself, right? Now, part three. Two boys are chosen. This is bit tricky. Try to understand. Uh, two boys are chosen at random from those with mass greater than seventy kilogram. We are looking for these two columns only, right? Greater than seventy. so this is greater than 70 here find the probability that one of them has mass greater than 80 and the other has mass of 80 kg or less so we have two choices right so the first one when you choose first one here uh, which is mass greater than 80 so when it is greater than 80 so greater than 80 we have 10 right greater than 80 is 10 so it will be 10 out of 24 why are we taking 24 this is 14 plus 10 24 so first one if it is 10 the other one we have the other choice will be less than that so that is 14 now the total number of choices will remain 23 then plus the other one if we are taking the other way round so then we will have this here uh 14 over 24 then times 10 over a uh, 23 right So now we will just calculate this one. Uh, so this is hundred and forty over twenty four times twenty three. This is also hundred and forty over times twenty four times twenty three, right? So this is if you take this one, we need not to do the calculations directly. It's one forty plus one forty, which is two hundred and eighty over twenty four times twenty three. right so divided by 2 140 over 12 then 2 times uh 6 2 times 7 2 times 3 35 so this is 35 we have 35 remaining up here over we have 3 times 23 which is 69 so final answer is 35 over 69 
Now let's move to question number four. We have part one here. Six times seven uh, minus two x equals to three x minus. So open the bracket. This six will be multiplied to both of them. Six times seven it is forty two minus six times two is twelve x equals to three x minus eight. Right now. Uh, bringing this 42 plus 8, 8 is this side coming this side, 12 will go that side, 3x plus 12x, this is 50 equals to 15x divided by 50 divided by 50, right? Uh, so, no, sorry, because uh, we are looking for value of x 15 15 this is gone so this is in the lowest form 5 times 10 so we have x equals to 10 over 3 which may be written as 3.33 10 over 3 either you can give or in the mixed fraction it can be 3 1 over 3 or 3.33 right I hope you understood now next part uh, 2 uh, we have to solve this for x now we can cross multiply when you cross multiply and so we have 2x times 3 equals to 2 into x minus 5 this is 6x open the brackets 2x minus 10 so 6x minus 2x equals to minus 10 6 minus 2 it's 4x equals to minus 10 divided by 4 divided by 4 so this will be 2 times 5 negative 5 over 2 so that means negative 2.5 got it now next factorization factorize completely so now first we need to look for the numbers for the numbers both are even numbers so we can take out 2 from here so we have inside x squared minus 288 divided by 2 it is 144 y squared now this can be again further written as like if we write 12y squared right now we can use formula a square minus b square equals to a plus b and a minus b where a is x and b is 12y so it is 2 into x plus 12y x minus 12y so this is our final answer which is 2 x plus 12y x minus 12y right now solve for x we can use uh, factorization method here so 4 times uh, this is 40 times 5 it's 200 and we have 17 here so we are looking for two numbers that when you add you get 17 and when you multiply you get 200 right so now after trial and erring error method so you can find out that it is 25 and 8 uh, we need positive answer so this should be negative 25 minus 8 is 17 and 25 times 8 is 200 times negative it will be 200 sorry we need negative 200 because this is negative here right so we can split this 17 it will be 5x squared 17 is 25x minus 8x minus 40 so now what is common here x uh, 5 also 5x then we have here x inside plus 5 then from here we have negative 8 common so x plus 5 now this x plus 5 x plus 5 is out we have x my 5x minus 8 remaining so this is the final answer x plus 5 and 5x minus 8 right so that's the question for part 2 part C solve this equation uh, you must show all your working and give your answer to correct two decimal places so uh, let me rewrite the equation x cubed plus 4x squared minus 17x equals to x cubed minus 19 so we have x cubed x cubed both side we can cancel that 
So we have 4x squared minus 17x plus 9 equals to 0. Move 9 to the other side. So now you can directly use quadratic formula. So by comparing this with the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0, we have a as 4, b is negative 17 and c is 9. Right? So we have quadratic formula x equals to minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Right? Uh, you cannot plug in the values into the calculator because according to the instruction you need to show all your working. Right? So now if we do this one minus b that is minus minus 17 plus minus 17 negative 17 square 4a is 4 c is 9 over 2a which is 4. So this is 17 plus minus uh, 289 minus 4 times 4 16 times 9 144 over 8 so this is 17 plus minus 100 and uh, when you mul minus this one is uh, 289 minus 144 289 minus 144 it's 145 over 8 so 145 square root of 145 is 12.04. So x is 17 plus minus 12.04 over 8. So now we can find out two values x equals to 17 plus 12.04 over 8. Other one is x equals to 17 minus 12.04 over 8. Right? Now, when you calculate with the calculator, it comes out to be 3.63 and this is 0 0.62. So, that is our final answer. We are going to put that here. 3.63 and 0 0.62. Alright. Question number 5. You can see we have a circle diagram here. We are given A, B, C, D are points on circle. Uh, center is O, angle COD is 124, angle BCO is 35. <coughs> Work out angle CBD. CB, CBD. So we are looking for this angle. Now, if you see, we have this arc here. This angle is in the center, and this angle is in the same arc is in the uh, on the circumference so angle cbd will be like 124 divided by 2 it will be half of this which is 62 so we can write down this angle cbd will be 62 degrees because uh, the reason is angle at the center angle at the center is double the angle at circumference of the circle at circumference right so that is the reason for this one okay now work out angle bad now we are looking for bad give your metrical reason reasons for each step of your working bad let's see where is bad is this one now if you look around here have a look on this so this triangle i mean oc and od they are same okay so if this angle is x then this will also be x right so then we can find out this x because in this triangle we have this 124 so we can write down here x plus x plus 124 equals 280 so 2x is 180 minus 124 which is uh, 56. So 2x is 56. So x is uh, 28. Right. So when x is 28, this, uh, this angle is now 28. Now if you look around here, this is a cyclic quadrilateral. A quadrilateral, it has all the four points on the circle right so then the these opposite angles are always supplementary like their sum is uh, 180 right so now angle bad for bad so this is 35 this angle and this one is 28 
okay so this will be equal to angle bad so this is going to be your angle bad so when you add this one uh, no sorry they, they are supplementary their sum is 180 uh, so plus bad is equal to 180 so this is uh, 100 and six, this is 63 8 plus 5 3 6 yeah 63 plus angle BAD equals to 180 so BAD will be 180 minus 63 which is 117 degrees right so angle BAD will be 117 degrees because it is um, uh, the angles you can say angles in a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary are supplementary now you see this is four mark question so that means this thing is we have used this but previously we have used this isosceles triangle also and also uh, triangle OCD is an isosceles triangle from where we are getting this sorry, sorry triangle okay so that's it for 5a part b we have again question from us, uh, this uh, cycle uh, sorry circle uh, so we have given this one angle and one side here you can see 42 this is 59 so p q r s are points on a circle center uh, o q s is a diameter q s is a diameter here uh, so angle this angle is 42 and this side is 5.9 calculate the circumference so circumference is 2 pi r okay so we don't have diameter right qs is diameter but we have pq so for that we need either diameter or radius right so if you look at this one so this angle is 42 right so this arc this is 42 here in the same arc we have this angle so that means this will also be 42 right so if this is 42 and this angle is going to be 90 because this is a diameter passes to the center and this is a triangle in the semicircle so from here we will have this angle 90 plus 42 plus this angle uh, yeah so this angle is mm, no we, we can directly use I think the Pythagore or uh, this uh, so cut one thing so this angle this is 90 so we we, we can just use the other way uh, so this is 42 so this angle is up this side is opposite and we have this side this is adjacent right so we can use one of these so we have adjacent and we want to involve this one here so we can have uh, we we are looking for this one so this is hypotenuse right so we can use this uh, cosine so cosine of 42 cosine of 42 will be adjacent adjacent is this pq okay over hypotenuse hypotenuse is sq so pq is uh, 5.9 and sq we are looking for so from here our sq is going to be 5.9 over cos 42 degrees so let's calculate that one 5.9 divided by cos of 42 this is 7.93 i can take some it will be 7 point so sq is 7.94 centimeters right so now we have this is diameter right this is the diameter so circumference of circle will be pi 
d so pi d is 7.94 so we can directly calculate pi times 7.94 24.94 so this is 24.94 so you can write down in three significant figures 24.9 centimeters